So uh, I wanted to talk about one more strategy, uh, uh, a low-risk ETF strategy for volatile markets. And uh, here's a daily price chart of the S&P 500 index. You can see a lot of volatile price moves here, but no clear trend. So um, with the strategy I'm about to show you, um, you can purchase an ETF in, in the strongest sectors and only have a maximum risk of 3 or 4%. So uh, let's take a look at this uh, uh, strategy. And uh, it's a great strategy for the current market conditions. Um, and as I said, it limits um, your maximum risk on these trades is 3 to 4%, uh, regardless of market movements. So it's a very simple strategy, the first step is we use our ETF trade selection uh, to buy an ETF and then simultaneously buy an at the money put option uh, to protect against a market decline. So a very simple strategy, uh, you buy an ETF and then at the same time you buy an at the money put option to protect uh, your ETF if the market declines. And this creates a spread trade known, known as a married put trade. And with a married put trade, um, the ETF that you purchase, of course, that profits as the ETF moves up in price, and the put option profits as the ETF moves down in price. So you have a long position and you have a short position with these uh, married puts. And with a married put, there's no limit on the profit potential of a married put spread trade if the ETF continues to move up in price. <clears throat> so let's look at a couple examples. Uh, the first one is the cloud computing ETF sim uh, symbol SKYY. So this ha uh, holds cloud computing stocks in the ETF. So this has a current relative strength of 95.9, so it's higher than 90%. And uh, here's the components of the cloud computing ETF. Uh, you have Netflix, Amazon, Red Hat, Akamai, uh, F5 Networks, Cisco, NetApp, Salesforce, VMware. So of all the sectors in the market right now, this is probably the strongest sector uh, in terms of the underlying stocks, which uh, are growing their earnings quickly, and uh, it's a very strong sector. So this uh, cloud computing sector is a way to participate by buying the ETF symbol SKYY. <clears throat> so here's an example of a married put trade that we took last month. Uh, we bought 800 shares of SKYY at 51.78. Here's our brokerage statement here. Uh, so we bought 800 shares of SKYY at 51.78. And at the same time, we bought to open eight of the SK, SK, uh, SKYY uh, 51 strike puts at 119. So we bought the ETF 5178, bought the 51 puts at 119. So that created uh, a married put spread trade, and this has a little more than uh, two months until expiration. So we designed uh, a series of calculators that will calculate the profit potential for option trades, including the married put spreads. And the calculators will calculate the profit potential uh, based on the price change in the underlying stock or ETF at option expiration. So we use these calculators before we take the trade, and that allows us to know the uh, profit potential. So for this SKYY married put, we use the calculator before we took the trade, and uh, for our brokerage statement showed that we bought SKYY at 51.78, and we bought the 51 strike put at 119. So the calculator will calculate the profit potential for this married put trade 
assuming various price changes in SKYY at op option expiration, in this example, from a 30% increase in the price of Sky to a 50% decline. So you can see uh, with Sky trading at 51.78, if there's a 10% increase in Sky to 56.96, this column here gives you the uh, results uh, of the trade. If there's a 50% decline, this column will give you the results of the trade. So let's take a, a in-depth look at this. Um, again, we our brokerage account statement said we bought Sky at 51.78 bought the 51 strike put at 119. And <clears throat> we can see from the bottom two rows, uh, the bottom row shows the percent return for the spread trade. Uh, the second from the bottom row shows the dollar return for this spread trade. And we can see that if SKYY is up 20% at option expiration, then the spread trade will have a 17 0.3% return, uh, $917 profit, 17.3% return. So this is a trade-off. Uh, we're giving up a little bit of the profit potential uh, on the trade, but we uh, limit our risk. And you can see that um, if the ETF is flat at 51.78, it at option expiration, we're only going to lose 2.2%. Uh, if it's down 50%, which I would not anticipate it would ever happen, but if it's down 50%, you can see our maximum loss on this trade would be 3.7% uh, before commissions. So no matter what this ETF does, we're entering uh, the Internet cloud computing sector, which is a, a, a very strong sector, but we're limiting by creating the spread trade, we're limiting our risk to 3.7%. So that's a great trade off in my mind if um, I can participate in this strong sector and only risk 3.7% on the trade. So this is, this is a good way to trade uh, volatile markets. Here's one more example. This is for FDN, the uh, Internet uh, ETF. And uh, here's the top holdings, again, uh, Amazon, Facebook, Netflix, uh, Salesforce. So uh, the ETF had a 98% uh, relative strength. Uh, we waited for a pullback, and then uh, we purchased uh, FDN at 130.62, and we purchased the 130 strike put at 388. So um, this created a married put trade, and uh, let's take a look at the uh, profit potential uh, for FDN. And again, uh, bought FDN at 130.62, bought the 130 strike put at 388, and we can see if uh, FDN is up 20%, we'll have a 16.5% return. So we, we give up some of the return potential uh, with the married put, but we limit our maximum loss on this trade to 3.3%. So we're uh, uh, part participating in uh, stocks like Amazon, Facebook, Netflix, Salesforce, and we're only risking 3.3% uh, on the trade. So it's a great way to participate in these strong sectors with uh, a very small uh, risk. Okay, we also have a married put portfolio with our trading service, uh, and we have a combination of stock, ETF, and real estate investment trust in our married put portfolio. We currently have $71,000 open trade profits, average return of 123%. And um, again, if you're uh, if you want to see the uh, updated profit results for our eight strategies, uh, you would just log on to Chuck Hughes IC and click uh, Trade Results, and that'll give you the uh, 
updated profit results for the uh, strategy. 